Hey everyone, Matt Wolf here, and in this little video, I'm going to show you exactly how to take the books that you've published for Kindle and format them for print version on CreateSpace. Now, there are a few things that you have to do to get it ready for a print version. You can't just take the Kindle book that you created and upload it into CreateSpace. You got to make a couple little tweaks to it, and I'm going to show you how to make those tweaks in OpenOffice. So what you see here on the screen is actually a fiction book that, that my company published called Sector 5. And I'm going to show you how to make this into a create space print version. This isn't quite ready for it yet. Um, there's several things that need to be fixed. Uh, as you can see, to start with, the page size is a standard 8.5 by 11 paper size. Now, when we print books, we typically want to go to a smaller size. Um, I, I typically go about a, a six by nine book is pretty standard for what I do. To do that in open office, I'm actually going to go up to format and I'm going to come down to page. Now, let's see if I click on page over here, you can see it's set on letter, which is an eight and a half by 11. We don't want our fiction book to be eight and a half by 11. That's way too big for a print book. So I'm going to go ahead and set it at a width of 6 inches, let me just type that in here, by a height of 9 inches. That's kind of more of a standard print size book. The next thing I want to do is under page layout here, instead of right and left, I want to do mirrored. So I can put a bigger margin in the center of the book where the pages come together. So inner right here, where it says 79, we actually want to make this a slightly bigger margin. Let's just go up to, uh, let's make it like 0.91 for the inner margin. And then these outer margins, I'm actually going to squeeze them down. I'm going to make them smaller. I'm actually going to bring these down to a 0.57 is about right for the outer, the top, and the bottom. I'm going to go 0.57 on all of those. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now this is more of your standard print size book that we're looking at here. Now what you're going to want to do is go through your book real quick and look at it and see if there's anything that looks off to you. Um, up at the top I have other recommended books from Wolf Empire. I don't like how this is broken up here so I'm actually going to make this a smaller font here. Let's take it from an 18 down to a 16, a little bit smaller. Let's go to a 14. So that puts that on one line. And let's see. I could go ahead and leave that alone. Actually, I'll just do a little uh, page break there so it looks a little better spaced out. So you just want to make sure that everything looks smooth throughout the book. So if you scroll down real quick, just make sure that all the line breaks look okay. Make sure that your new chapter start on a new page. Chapter 2 starts there. So, you know, take your time, scroll through the book. See, here's an extra page break that doesn't need to be there. I'm going to go ahead and clear off this page break there. That didn't need to be there. Um, I'm not going to go through the whole book, but you get the idea. Just go through it and make sure that everything looks looks clean to you. Uh, so, because the way it looks in your viewer here is the way it's going to look on the print version. So you want to make sure it looks nice and clean and ready for print format. So let me just finish scrolling to the bottom here. I know at the bottom I've got another area where it shows other recommended books. So I'm going to go ahead and fix this real quick. Bring it down to 14. Um, space this onto two lines so it looks a little cleaner. And there we go. Now I'm going to scroll back up to the top here. And what we need to do now is I'm going to fix the table of contents because Right now it's formatted for Kindle, so it doesn't need page numbers in the table of contents. But since we're going to do this as a print version, we actually do need to have uh, page numbers on our table of contents here. So I'm going to go ahead and right click in my table of contents, and I'm going to click edit index slash table. It brings up this screen here. And as it's set right now, we've got links with no page numbers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and delete this here. That's the link start. We don't need it to have a link. So on a Mac, it's uh, the FN button plus delete button. We'll delete that. I'm going to go ahead and delete this, delete the link end, and delete 
that. So now what we have is just the name of the chapter. So what we need to do now is we need to have the little dots that go across and then the page number. So I'm going to go ahead and put a tab stop in here. Then the fill character, I'm going to go ahead and put dots. And I'm going to click align right. You can see on my little uh, preview here, put these dots across. Now I'm going to click in this box next to the T. I'm going to click page number. And now it should put the page number over on the right. So if I go ahead and click OK, you can see it just changed my table of contents to show chapter one, the little dots, and it puts the page number over on the right. So that's exactly what I wanted to do. Now there's only one problem. You'll notice there's no page numbers on any of the pages. So we need to make sure that we have page numbers on all the pages. So I'm going to go up to Insert, and I'm going to come down to Footer, and I'm going to click on All. And now it adds a little footer onto every single page. I'm going to click the right align button to align my page number over to the right on every page. And I'm going to click on insert, fields, and then page number. And now it's going to add the page number to every single page. So now if I scroll back up, you can see I've got my book is the right dimensions. I've got it set by uh, six by nine. I've got my margin set so that the inner margin on every single page is a little bit wider. That's to account for the, the fold where the pages come together. You want a little bit wider margin on the fold. I've got, uh, I've cleaned up everything so that the fonts look nice on all the pages. I've got numbers on my table of contents now so they can find out what page they want to go to. And I've got page numbers on every single page. This book is now officially ready to upload into CreateSpace.